All right, today we're gonna to be talking about how you can uh, create these cinematic black bars that go on the top and bottom of your videos uh, to give it that widescreen aspect ratio cinematic look. Here at Big Iris Productions, we like to uh, create content for you. And so make sure to uh, leave a comment if you have another video or anything you'd like us to create um, and subscribe. All right, so let's get started. Um, the first thing I'd like to do is reference uh, somebody by the name of Ian Killick, who uh, has created a video on YouTube describing how you can uh, make these cinematic black bars that go on the top and bottom of your screen here. Um, that worked really well and he describes it really well and he even shows you how to do the math of how it all comes together. Um, there's only one problem with the way he does it and let me show you what that is and how we can fix that. So basically the way he shows you how to do it is, let me turn this off here. So this is a, this is a GoPro time lapse that I've been working on um, and I wanted to give it more of a cinematic look just to give it that feel of, you know, just a cinematic feel. Um, so I'm going to turn this off here and one common way to do it is just uh, to type in crop and uh, to crop your footage. Um, and to get the 2 to 4 aspect ratio you take 13% uh, off the top and 13% off the bottom. Problem with that as you can see here is if you have motion applied, um, I have a slow motion uh, applied here, it, it crops with the video as the video plays. We can get this to play back smoothly here. Um, so obviously we can't have that happening um, in our video. So I'm going to show you a different way how to do it. Uh, it's quite simple. So basically we uh, open Photoshop here. We go to File, uh, New, and what we're going to do is create a uh, 4K Ultra HD um, template. And we need to make sure that it's a transparent background and make sure to size it correctly, which is 3840 by 2160 for Ultra HD. And you can title that if you want. So an easy way I found we can do this is to go ahead and uh, turn off, we're, we're gonna pretend like this uh, isn't here. Go ahead and turn off your motion so that you know that you're at the two to four aspect ratio with the 13% crop here and here on top and bottom. And then just go ahead and take a screenshot and save that uh, somewhere on your computer. Now it helps uh, quite a bit if you have just a either just a plain white background or something really light uh, But this should work for us just fine I've already gotten unsaved, so we're gonna head over to Photoshop We're gonna go ahead and open that file that we just saved And uh, here it is and it's the same uh, aspect ratio uh, the 16 by 9 of the 4k uh, blank file template that we just created over here. So what we're going to do is basically just take these black bars and put them onto our transparent background. Um, an easy way to do that is to just uh, select the quick select tool and do this and do that and drag it over. Uh, the problem with that, unless you have a plain white background, you're probably going to pick up uh, quite a few things like I did here. See these jagged edges? And we don't want that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do it the old-fashioned way. Right, let me rescale this for you. I'm going to deselect that. And we're just going to use um, the rectangular marquee tool. Now you can zoom in really close and take a look. And that looks about right. And again, this is your video. It doesn't have to be perfect uh, if you're doing professional work. Maybe this, this option probably isn't a good option for you if you need it to be uh, exact. Um, but this, this is just a work, way that works really well for me. So we can go ahead and take that and um, drag it over to our transparent background. Place it on top. Drag it down, create a copy. And uh, there you go. All right, so now that we have our black bars in place um, and our transparent background, we can go ahead and save this. And uh, obviously there's a thousand different ways you can do this in Photoshop. This just happens to be the way I'm doing it 
Um, but we're going to go ahead and save it as a PNG. And we'll just save it to the desktop. All right, and once we have it saved, we can come back over to Premiere, and we can go ahead and drag it in. Again, if this if you're going to be using this, you're not going to be wanting to store it on your desktop. You're going to be wanting to store it in your regular file location. Um, but now we have it here, and we can go ahead and drag it to our timeline here over the top of our video. And as you can see, uh, if we enable motion again, we can scrub back and forth and watch as the video uh, increases and decreases in size and does not affect the cinematic, cinematic uh, bars over the top. Uh, another great thing about this is you can use it for uh, 1080 footage or the 4K Ultra HD footage and you can do it in whatever size uh, you want. Alright guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, again, if you need a different aspect ratio, uh, feel free to head over to the link in the description um, and go check out uh, Ian Killick's page. Um, he's got, uh, he'll show you how to do uh, different aspect ratios, different crops and things. So, and you can apply that to the same technique. Um, so again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, uh, comment in the comments below with any other videos uh, you'd like us to make and check out our channel. And thanks again.